Rossi Henry, thanks for joining us. It's a hard fought game, a game that for large spells I think it's fair to say you dominated. What are your feelings at full time overall, Rossi? Um, listen, from the circumstances, we're, we're, we're pleased with a point, but we're also frustrated. The players in, in, in there feel they could have had three points and they're frustrated, but that's again their mentality. They want to win every game, we want to win every, win every game. And um, even coming here, you know, and they're, they're high fly, flying high in third position. You know, we, we felt that we, we had the quality and we dominated the game from, from you know, start to finish. And on the basis of the first half, there must have been some frustration going in at half time trailing because you'd had plenty of chances and plenty of good chances at that, which you've talked about before. Yeah, I said to the boys, you've got to be more ruthless. It's long and short. Yeah. 45 minutes of football, we absolutely dominated in our eyes. We're disappointed with the goal we conceded, but in terms of the chances we created, outstanding play through the mid third into the final third. But we've got to take them when we get in there, and that was the message to the players. Slightly different second half, um, which made things a bit more difficult. They came at us a little bit at the start, which I thought we, we weathered that storm well. We then got into the game and had some chances ourselves. The red card obviously changes the circumstance and the dynamic of the game. We dug in for a good 10 minutes there to keep keep ourselves in the game. We've got the penalty, and you know even then, even then you thought with you know Nana's Mauro and John when we were picking up the ball in the mid third that we could be a threat on the counter attack. Here we have had the the. the um, Shot from John that was caught from offside, which was some great play, and that's when we're down to 10 men. So, you know, we know we can do it, but we've got to be more ruthless and just make sure we take these chances. And it felt like the wide players in particular were causing them problems. Jamal, especially, and Luke Coulson as well, really got, got into some dangerous areas and put some good balls into the box. Yeah, <laughs> I thought you'd have gone in. Um, and this is the quality we have. You know, there's competition in the places now, like we spoke before. You've got Jamal Campbell Rice, Nana. Um, Luke Coulson, um, Maro when he plays there as well. Um, so you know, they're, they're playing for blood, as you say. They want to impress. Uh, Jamal was outstanding today. Um, and Anna, when he came on, was outstanding. Luke, Luke was lively and, and, and did some really, really good things. Um, so we're pleased. You know, we're pleased we're creating chances, which is you know, the main thing in football. Touched on it a minute ago, Henry, but the red card, uh, I don't know how much you saw of it, certainly our view wasn't fantastic. What was what the overall kind of verdict on that one? Well, it all happened quite quickly because I think at the time I was screaming to Simeon to you know, get on the half term and go and attack, attack the centre half. And then he's just had a slightly heavy touch, I think, if I remember correctly. Um, to be honest, I really don't know. All you can say about Simeon is that he's in no way a malicious individual. So if it is a high foot that's caught the player, um, then he's most definitely not a mentee. He's one of the most honest guys we've met, which is one of the reasons we signed him, um, and he's devastated, but he also knows he's not let the boys down, because we know he's not done anything deliberately there, sometimes these things happen, you know, and the players have pulled together there to get the result, or get a result from the game, um, he's delighted with that, the boys are all delighted with that, um, you know, it's just a shame that it'll be a three-match punt. Um, but from there, the positive is the reaction of the players. There was no feeling sorry for themselves. They went for Carlisle, and it was not long after that that the equaliser comes. You must have been chuffed with the reaction, Rossi. Yeah, this, this group of players is um, special. You know, they, they work hard for each other. They demand excellence every day they come in the building. And, and today, that's, you know, going down to 10 minutes. That's what's shown again today. Fantastic desire from, from, from Josh Vickers and goal. They've drawn up front, uh, working hard for each other and discipline. It's, it's huge. He made some changes, obviously, in personnel. I think caught a few people out, putting Maurer in the middle. He's probably done most roles at this club in the time he's been here, but that's another one and another one that you can kind of tick off, I suppose. What was the, what was the thinking in that basis? Well, just on that, we have made sure we've tried to keep Maurer as settled as possible. He's been outstanding for us playing right midfield. A threat in possession of the football always mm. and outstanding out of possession in terms of his work rate and his defensive positioning and willingness to win the ball back, which is why we put him into centre field, to be honest, because he's doing so well there that, you know, as, you, as you're aware, Jack and Kurt have just picked up a couple of little niggles in the week and it's something that we can't shift, weren't able to shift for this weekend. It would have been too big a risk to play them knowing the style that we were going to come here and play in terms of our pressing out of possession and the games that we've got coming up, seven games in 30 days, of which that was the first. So um, we took that decision uh, and we placed Kurt with Mauro in there because we know that Mauro's physicality in terms of his dynamism to be able to run box to box is second to none. Uh, he's been outstanding in possession for us as well, getting on the football, which again he showed today. And as you know, as just us, he's also a top player. So get your top players in, in the middle of the park and get them on the ball as much as we can. And he was the catalyst for much of our good work today. And two signings this week, not had the chance to speak about those guys. Charlie Clough coming in from Forest Green Rovers and Ruben Bova coming in 
having been on trial, I believe. Tell us what excites you about those guys, what it is that brought, persuaded you to bring them to the football club. Well, Charlie Ride didn't fight a few weeks back. Um, and we're, you know, fantastic from the chairman to get the deal done. Um, he brings brings a little maturity as well at right back. He's very versatile. Um, he's a centre half by trade, but with that versatility, he can play a number of positions. Um, it gives the team flexibility as well to play free at the back, which will, will something we'll, we'll touch on a few times. Um, but he's a proper defender. You know, he wants to head the ball. He wants to make tackles, and he's comfortable in position as well. You know, he's not afraid to have the ball at his feet. He's not afraid to to attack space in front of him, so you know, that's really, really pleasing to have, to have Charlie on board. Um, and Ruben Boba Isquido, as you say. Um, the play has been a number of weeks now. Um, really, really very brave to get on the ball. Wants to get on the ball, wants to play forward. Um, you know, he, you could say your typical Spanish, Spanish player, he is. Um, but also, what, what really struck me and Henry was his work rate right position, that position and um, positioning, wanting to head the ball, wanting to tackle as well. Um, you know, and he, he's really gonna gonna strengthen the squad. Um, his international clinics didn't come through this morning, so he would have featured if if that had been possible. Um, but again, coming in at the right time, he's going to be a real asset to the club. Brilliant. Thank you very much.